2017 can best be described as a tough year for Nigerians. Tough because the year before, the country slipped into recession caused by low oil prices and crisis in the oil-rich Delta region. The central bank governor, Godwin Emiafele, says with unemployment at almost 10% and poverty at its peak, economic diversification is not optional. And we said from the beginning that we needed to change the focus of the economy. We needed to diversify the economy. We needed to invest in essential infrastructure so that we could grow and rebuild the economy. Nigeria's economic growth is improving outside of the oil sector. Is the focus on non-oil exports. That will also bring in foreign exchange that is stable and predictable and less vulnerable to price shocks such as the oil price. The primary purpose and objective of Nexen is to drive non-oil exports. So from the onset, when the bank was set up in 1991, its purpose was to diversify revenue sources for the federal government. We don't do anything that is related to oil. All we do is focus on the non-oil export. We support manufacturing. We support agro-allied uh, products. That is both in the production and also in processing agro-allied products in the uh, economic recovery and growth plan. Certain commodities were identified as strategic commodities for export that will help in the diversification of the economy. You have cocoa, which is a traditional non-oil export. You have uh, uh, cashew nuts, sesame, and um, oil seeds, uh, and so on and so forth. But in conjunction with the Export Promotion Council, we have taken the liberty to increase those strategic targeted commodities from 8 to 12. Okay, uh, If you look at the ERGP, leather is not one of them. But it, given that it contrib currently contributes, it's currently maybe the second or the third uh, largest contributor to non-oil export revenues, we thought it is a low-hanging fruit that we can expand the production of leather in Nigeria. Um, the leather industry in the past had something like 43 or 45 tanneries. Today, only seven are very active. Now, we've identified it as one that we can almost immediately grow production. From current salar, when the Edo Kabir period comes, that's when leather product or skin is at its most, uh, the supply of skin is at its highest. Currently, I think the industry has something like 30 million skins, and the capacity that is working now can only absorb like 6 million skins. My name is Waziri Albishir. I'm the head of the Kano Regional Office. We are mandated to cover the seven states in the north central zone of the country. The mandate of Nexim uh, is to intervene and promote exports. So our focus is on non-oil exports. And we give some priority or we have priority sectors. Manufacturing, agro-allied, soil minerals and services. Uh, recently, uh, we have intervention fund, we call it Export Development Fund. We have about 50 billion in our kitty to stimulate uh, economic growth by financing all the companies that are in those sectors that I mentioned earlier. Recently, the bank approved about 23 billion to various uh, customers across all the sectors of the economy. And uh, here in Kano Regional Office, one of the customers that benefited is GB Tannery. They approved 1.2 billion for them for both equipment and working capital.
My name is Tijani Sulegalo, and uh, I am uh, the third generation in this uh, leather business. My father started a tannery in Kano, and uh, I now own a tannery as well. But the business has been, was started by my grandfather. So we are the third generation. About, uh, our business is more than 100 years old. And already, post generation is, has started coming into the business. existing company so the, but they need to retool some of their machines have depreciated over the years so they need to retool and increase their efficiency so we have equipment finance component of the loan which is about 500 million and then we have the working capital component of it they've already accessed the working capital component of it and as you have seen during our visit to the company uh, they have started buying their, the, the raw heights and skin, raw, raw one. We have seen they have been stocking and they are already processing some of them. My name is Muazzam Tijani and uh, here is GB Tanari. I'm the executive director. Um, here you can see that we are in the raw store. In the raw store, this is the first stage where we collect the skins. After we collect them here, we select them. From there, we grade them into various grades, medium, light, heavy, and uh, chips. Then we trim them. After we trim them, then we take them into the tanyard. So we can, we can go around and uh, you will see how they are selecting it and uh, how they are trimming it and how it has been graded into various grades. So we can go in. When I opened my own tannery in 1998, that is after my father, I started doing the production and in 2003 I approached Nexin. And uh, luckily enough for me, Nexin financed me in 2003. I brought in some machines. Well, the intervention of Nexin then really helped us because without their intervention, we wouldn't have been in this stage. But from 2003 to now, it has taken a long time. So this time around, we still approach Nexim again. Hey, Nexim, we have paid you your money since 2006. We want to do some retooling and we want more working capital. Luckily enough for us, Nexim looked at uh, our books and then they decided to give us this facility, a new facility to, to expand, to retool our place and to continue doing the business. The employment rate we have now after the next intervention through the ARGP has reached up to 250 and uh, by 2019 it is going to be up to 300 to 350 but it doesn't stop here you know because it is uh, you have to look at uh, the agents that are bringing it to us they too they have their that is direct employment we have 300 at the moment we have 250 and we hope to increase it to 300, 350 by 2019. But that is direct. But 
if you look at the others that are being indirectly employed by us, it reached up to a thousand people or more. Because you have to look at our agents that are collecting the skins. They have their workers there. They have their laborers, their loaders, their sort out uh, uh, personnel. And then after them, you have to look at the butchers. The butchers too, they have people that are working under them. And after the butchers, those that are rearing the animals, they too. So the employment rate in a tannery does not stop only in the tannery. It goes way beyond. If any tannery is employing 10 people, so there are about 50 people that are benefiting from it. So what the federal government has done now through NEXIM for supporting tanneries, it is actually supporting employment in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So you can see that with idle capacity that we have on the one hand and the quantity of leather or skin that is available, it is very easy if we can put in more support into the tanning industry for us to grow what currently uh, we generate in revenues, uh, maybe twice or thrice. We are part of the factories, the 240 businesses that were selected by the federal government to see and to see how to encourage it. So this is all part of the ERGP, Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. So we are happy with it and uh, Nexum has embraced this ERGP and uh, they are supporting us. It's a very viable uh, project because as you have heard from the company, they are currently employing about 250 or so, and the number may increase. So they play a very significant role in reducing unemployment in the country. And then, of course, when they export the process, hides and skin, they call them cross leather to Europe. All these designer bags you are seeing, all these uh, shoes you are wearing from Europe, they are, of course, the products of our own heights and skin that we export to them. Through that, we generate foreign exchange for the country and, you know, make our economy stronger. And, uh, and by the time you finance such companies, Nigerian economy will be, the, will be the better for it because you are going to create employment, you are going to earn more foreign exchange and have a robust economy.